What if I told you that you could get your gather grill started with 15 seconds of work and 15 minutes of waiting? Let's see if it works. Just to give a few props to people who make these type of things, um, I think they're awesome because I really love fire. So you can use this, but I can tell you, even if you use that, you've got to stay at your charcoal bed. You have to keep it on there for five minutes, seven minutes or so, and it's not the best process. So we're gonna show you the best process. But before I do, I just wanna let you know, cooking with charcoal is a, I think it's a really fun process, but from a food quality standpoint, it just sees, it just makes better food. If you cook on a gas grill or you cook on a charcoal grill, most of you know, you get flavor from the charcoal, you can add wood chunks to the charcoal. There are lots of things you can do that makes cooking on charcoal versatile that you can't go and do on a gas grill. I'm not poo-pooing gas grills, you might want both, but you can't do on a gas grill what we're about to do on the gather grill. So we're about to go through the process. You can start your timer. So, timer started. All you have to do is light one of these. There are lots of different little fire starters that you can light, that you can uh, buy. They're super simple. You pour the charcoal in one of these chimneys. You put it on top of your fire starter and your 15 seconds is over. So we're gonna come back out here in 15 minutes and see how it looks. So we're back 15 minutes later, less than a minute of work, 15 minutes of prepping our food or waiting. And by the way, I would definitely suggest using gloves because these do get hot. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna dump all the charcoal out on one section. And because we wanna cook on two sections, So we're ready to go. We've dumped our charcoal, and now we're just gonna spread it out just a little bit to get it. Uh, you don't wanna spread it out too much. But now we've got two really hot sections. And I'll show you how we've got two really hot sections, but we also have a little room on the grill where there's some cooler sections, which is really nice when you're cooking because <clears throat> sometimes you need to move food around. We're also gonna show you the Lazy Susan function as well. So we're here putting our sub grate back on the grill. And now we're grabbing our bar grate. And our griddle. Now you're ready to go. Like we may have said before, having a section out of this table makes it super simple to get up in here. But if you wanna put the section back in so that you can cook and have everybody else cook around the grill, you can, or you can leave it out. One of the things that I really like about this grill is its versatility. So we've got a really, really hot surface here. So this would be great for searing steaks, cooking any type of protein. Over here, the center of the griddle is gonna get probably 350, 400 degrees. But over on the side, it won't be quite as hot because we have made our charcoal right in the center here. <clears throat> but if you need to use the Lazy Susan function of the grill, you can adjust temperature just by spinning the grill. Or if you want to, you can spin food around so people can grab it. You can use the Lazy Susan for lots of different things. So one other feature of the gather grill is the smoking hood or baking hood. So the hood just goes over the bar grate and you can bake pies on it. You can cook biscuits or at 350, 400 degrees or so, or you can adjust the vent pipe down right up under the wing here. And that's what regulates the amount of air that comes up through the bowl. And then on the top of the hood is a, a vent as well. So if you were gonna slow cook ribs or brisket or pork butts, you would adjust this down pretty tight where there's just a little airflow or a little airflow coming in from there. 
and you can regulate the temperature and keep it roughly at that 250 uh, for an extended period of time. If you want to add more charcoal or add wood, it's super simple to pick this up, add more fuel, have your hood over there, and you can do pizza on it as well. So you can bake it 350, 400. You can get this super, really super hot leave that not as hot and have the indirect heat work over there and you can cook pizza on the grill. So it's a versatile, multi-purpose grill that you can cook just about anything that you'd wanna cook.